<laughs> oh, finally. I'm home. Huh? Sammy, where are you? Three parts of sugar, two parts of spice, and don't forget about everything nice! Oh, you're just in time, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. What are we screaming about? You scared me, Sammy. Oh, whatever. What are you doing here? Oh, this? I'm experimenting for the Tibidaba Slime Scientist Contest. It's a big deal for slimes, you know. But so far, no luck. <laughs> What if I will help you? You know, I love science. I even have a couple of experiments I have wanted to try out. <laughs> really? Yay! Well then, let's get started, fellow scientist. For the first experiment, we need a piece of paper. Now, origami skills don't let me down. Um, Sue, we're experimenting, not crafting, remember? Of course. And that's why we need that cute little hat of yours. We'll use it as a boat. Now, Sammy, pay attention. Huh? Sue? You didn't tell me you were a sorceress. Can you teach me that magic, please? There's no magic here, Sammy. It's pure science. When we dip the upside-down glass into the water like this, the air keeps it from filling the space inside it. But it compresses a little so the ship will float inside the glass. But when we tilt the glass, we let the air out. The glass begins to fill with water, and the ship sinks. There! Now that there's an iceberg, it's more like a shipwreck! <laughs> what a creative slime you are! Oh, and this iceberg gave me an idea. Oh, really? Then it's a really interesting experiment. Let's do it! Phew. Here's all you asked for, Sue. Don't forget the tinfoil hat, too! In case other scientists try to read your mind and steal your ideas. Nobody wants to steal from us, Sammy. So, relax and watch closely. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> huh? What's going on? Hey, you! What are you doing here? I was just passing by. Yeah, right! Well, at least he left us some materials for our experiments. Okay. Experiment entry number 100 and... Hey, my science diary! I'm sorry, Sammy, but we need to sacrifice it for science's sake. Okay, okay, whatever you say. Whoa! Sue, we've got a runner! You can't escape us, you sly little ice cube! Nice catch, Sammy! You betcha! And here's our control ice cube. Now we wait to see which one melts first. This will be our experiment. But sitting around waiting is so boring. Then in the meantime, let's do my experiment. Get the paints. The paints are here. And where is Sam? I'm here. I dragged this ice all the way from the top of the Tibidaba Mount. Oh no, it melted. Why didn't you just get ice from the freezer? So we had ice in the freezer this whole time? Oh, Sammy, next time just ask. Here comes the salt. Um, by the way, why do we need paint? Come on, Sue, it's so easy. You dip your paintbrush in paint and color the ice like that. <laughs> it's so much fun. Let me try it too. <laughs> This is truly mesmerizing, guys. Like, if you agree. Oh, I almost forgot. It's time to check out our ice cubes. I thought the ice cube in the sock would melt the fastest. Cool. Don't jump to conclusions, my dear fellow scientist.
We need to measure everything, uh-huh. Whoa! What was that? Is someone trying to steal our experiments again? No, I think you're just hungry. I've got some treats. Follow me. Yay! Treats, yummy! Come on, Sue, what do you have in store for me? Gummy bears? Or maybe lollipops? Here, yummy and nutritious egg. Ew! I'm not eating that! Where's my candy stash? Well, I'm more than happy to eat it. But first, let's do one more experiment. Eggs are strong enough to handle the weight of a bird sitting on them. Their shape helps them take on a lot of pressure. But the shell can break easily if you hit it. Hail Tibidaba! There are no eggs in the lollipop recipe! Can I borrow this book for a sec? No! Hey! Ugh, fine. What do you say to that? Oh! Candy! Now that's more like it! It's harder to crush an egg when it's standing up. See how much weight our egg can hold? Oh, so that's why they're stored that way! That's right, Sammy. E Look! It's safe and sound! I'll take these! For my next experiment, if you don't mind. Here we go! Sue, get the flashlight! I'm one step ahead of you. Now take it! And why do we need them? For a colored light experiment, of course. Oh, that's a great idea. I love mixing colors. <laughs> when we mix red and green lights, we get yellow. Mixing red and blue makes purple. And blue mixed with green makes the turquoise light. So pretty. If we put all three lights together, we see… white! <laughs> Sue, it's just our guest dinosaur! He's gonna help us with our next experiment! Hi there! You scared me! Look! If we shine a red flashlight, it makes blue shadow! The green flashlight also makes blue shadow! Green and red flashlights together make green shadow. And if we add the blue light, we will have multiple shadows, like this. Also, we can use our flashlights for a little dance party. <laughs> the only thing that could be more fun than this is building a snowman. Wait a second. What? This gave me an idea. Let's make a scientific snowman. Cool. First, we need to make some scientific snow. Huh? Seriously? So far, it looks more like pastry dough. Really? And what do you say if I add soap? How much soap pastry have you had in your life? <laughs> oh, that even sounds gross. Still, it doesn't look like snow. Just be patient. Here we go. Our snow is ready. Now we can build a snowman. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Make way for a scientific snowman! And now, it's time for one more experiment. This is water with citric acid, and our scientific snow contains baking soda. So if we do this, a chemical reaction occurs. Scientifically speaking, here we have a new salt called sodium citrate, carbon dioxide, and water. Whoa, that sounds too smart. Uh. I'm getting dizzy from all the scientific lingo. Here's a recipe for you, then. Nice. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff to buy. Hold on a sec. We've got plenty of those ingredients in the kitchen. Then let's move on to the next experiment. All right, fellow scientists. Attention, please. Sue, put a card on the edge of the glass. What a strange experiment. Okay. Ugh. 
Come on. It's not working. Oh, I almost forgot. Try to do that now. Okay, here we go. Wow! Sammy, they are sticking! When we place a card on the water, the water sticks to the card! That's cause the water molecules stick together too! Oh! So this is what keeps the cards balanced on the edges of the cups! That is so cool! Being a scientist is so stressful! I hope the candle will relax me! No, no, we've got stuff to do! Keep up with the experiments and I'll go take a nap. <sighs> hey! My blankie! Don't be lazy, Sammy. I'm sure you will really enjoy this experiment. Oh, my blanket's all wet now. That's the way it's supposed to be. For this experiment, you will need an adult, guys. Now, check this out. When we heat the air, it expands. And when it cools down, it shrinks. So, it kind of tries to pull the water from the napkin up into the glass. And this happens. Cool, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Some will say, it's magic. And I'll say, it's physics. Wow, guys, the glass is really just holding all this. Can it hold a little more weight? Let's give it a try. Awesome, pick it up now, Sue. Yay! It works! The main thing here is to make sure there are no gaps between the glass and the napkin. Can it lift me up? I think it can! Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! This is even more fun than a roller coaster! <laughs> Phew. I'm thirsty after all that exercise. Blah! Why is the water salty? Now it's time for some slime science! Here we have water and ice! We need it to melt! Look! The ice is gone, but the water level stays the same! Now, Sue, give me your glass! This water is salty! Right! So this time when the ice melts, the water level will rise! That's cause salty water and melting ice from fresh water don't mix together! Whoa, Sammy, I had no idea. You're so smart. You bet! <laughs> okay, Sue, I think we're done. I've made notes about all the experiments. It's time. Go to the contest. Don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure you will win. I can't calm down. I have to know the results. <laughs> hey, isn't it that the guy from earlier? Ten points out of ten. Congratulations, Sammy. You did a great job. Um... But I thought you wanted to steal our ideas. I was just passing by. <laughs> <sighs> I'd better be less suspicious, really. Yay! <laughs> Sue, I won! I'm the best! Thanks for the help! And thank you guys for being with us today. Don't forget to like this video and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new exciting experiments. Bye-bye!